ultrasonic sensor. In this section, we are going to first teach our robot some manners by making it greet us when it sees us. We will then use the ultrasonic sensor to avoid obstacles. After this, we are going to make our robot move backwards and forwards as we move our hand back and forth. Then we are going to make a fully autonomous robot that can explore the room by its own. And last, we are going to put together all of our learned skills in a pedestrian challenge. Introduction In this section, we are going to take a look at another sensor, and this one is called the ultrasonic sensor. This sensor sends out sound waves and listens for the reflections of them to detect how far away obstacles are. Say hi! In this video, we are going to write a simple greeting program. The robot will detect if we get close to it and then it is going to say hello. Alright, so we want to make a program that uh, makes the robot say hello each time it sees our hand. So for this, we're going to use a loop and we're going to take a weight block and uh, press configure on it. So if you scroll down a bit, there it is, the ultrasonic sensor. We can set it to compare and uh, compare distance in centimeters or inches, whatever you prefer. So we're going to use centimeters and uh, you see here we have a bunch of options. First, of course, is the threshold value, which I'm going to explain just in a moment. And then there's the compare type. So we can compare if the distance the robot is seeing is uh, less than, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, just equal to, or not equal to the uh, distance that we have set in the threshold. So for example, right now, we have it at less than and 50. So the robot is waiting for when it is seeing uh, something closer than 50 centimeters. If we change it to greater than, the robot is going to wait until it sees an obstacle farther away than 50 centimeters. So if we had our hand right close to the robot, it would not detect it. But if we pull it away, then it would. Uh, for this program, we want it at less than, and uh, let's say 30 centimeters. So if we wave our hand quite close, the robot is going to see it. Then we're going to make it say hello, of course. So let's find the hello, which is under expressions. No, it's not. It's under communication. And hello. hello. Let's spice it up a little by having a display and let's place uh, an image of eyes also. Alright, so now this program, each time we wave our hand at it nearer than 30 centimeters, it's going to display some eyes and say hello. And uh, if it is just waiting, we're going to put sleeping eyes so we can see the difference. Let's give it a try. Alright, so as you can see from the display right now, the robot is sleeping as we made it. But now, if I take my hand and wave it, oh. the robot wakes up and says hello. Oh. 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 How cool is that? And that is how you write the simple greeting program.